knife attacks happen in a very dynamic kind of situation. You can't have a static one, two, three step process a lot of the time. So the way that we like to approach it with the knife control concepts and the reason it's concepts is because we're trying to build a kind of dynamic relationship in the different positions and quadrants around the body. So whatever the stop was, whether you have any kind of deliberate purposeful stop or you got stabbed and then you got the connection, we're looking to transition from different positions of like front to side, two on one, to the back, and then eventually, if we need to maintain control and we don't have a solid exit strategy, then maybe to the floor. So once we position to the floor here like this, we have different snaps and dumps that can happen from each of those quadrants. Once on the floor, what we like to try to do is mimic the different connections that we have standing as closely resembling on the ground. Because once we wind ourselves up on the floor here like this, I still have my front side two on one, like we did standing. I still can transition to my outside for better control to this outside two on one, and then eventually to the back, which is one of the more difficult places for him to be able to continue the attack. The main thing is that we have as seamless of transition in those different places as possible. Because if I have to stop, break connection, reestablish connection, it's gonna get really messy. There's a lot more opportunity for him to be successful in his stab. So whenever we're going through these different positions, I start from here, something like a front side two on one. I have good head position. I'm controlling this weapon bearing limb. I'm able to transition possibly based on the energy he's giving me to an outside two on one connection like this. This gives me really good connection to the, the outside limb here. Now I can start to transition to the back. From the back, we have different kind of sweeps, dumps here. Once I put him on the ground, we can kind of mimic that same kind of quadrant around the body. If he reorients to turn and face me, I still have my ability to keep this outside two on, or this front two on one connection. I can move, get better position off to the side here, and then eventually maybe circling over here to the back. If uh, from any point along the way, a, a termination point pops up where I can either disarm or exit the situation, then that's fantastic. But for me to be able to recognize that, I have to have a fluid way to be able to train through those different positions around the body. So that's why in the knife control concepts course, that's what we focus on. It's not a one, two, three step process necessarily. It's how to go from here to here to here and flow as best we can. Flow drills are kind of the main thing that we focus on, those kind of gray areas between the beginning and the end of the fight. So uh, by doing that, we're able to kind of keep training fluid and kind of uh, develop that sensitivity necessary to be able to continue on the, the path like that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you wanna find out more information about how you can train with us either online or in person, follow us on all the socials at Knife Control Concepts. You can follow me, Eli Knight at Knight Jiu Jitsu, uh, at Aaron Gennetti. Um, and that way you can find out if you can come and see us, train with us in a, a live course or even online for one of our online courses. Appreciate you guys watching this. Thanks a lot.